Okay guys, super quick video on how to show you to convert your Phantom 2 over to Spectrum. I'm running the DX9 right now, um, works good on my 550. With low rates on the yaw axis, I get some really nice and smooth pans. The Phantom's, you know, a little, little more touchy. I just wanted to uh, smooth that out and also hopefully get some better range. And also I like the timer function and just the voice alerts, everything on the DX9. So. I just thought for the what it costs, um, you need a orange 800x receiver. It's thirty dollars from Hobby King. I thought it would be, you know, a really good mod to do. So um, basically, as for hardware changes, all you really need to do is install it simply with double-sided foam tape and run the antennas down the legs. That's simple enough. And all the only other thing you need to do is unplug. X2 from NASA and put it into the S bus connector um, and that's super simple this one here is actually the X1 wire so I'm just gonna pull that one off I'm just gonna tuck it out, out, under, out of the way don't really need it and X2 was right here I just unplugged that one and simply moved it over just pay attention to polarities negatives on the bottom and yeah that is basically all there is to it if you guys aren't sure which one is actually X1 and X2 you can simply just pull this top plug out here and you can see a little better and then just put it back so that's the only hardware changes you need to do the rest is all in the radio programming I'm just gonna put the top back on and I will get to that I will be back very shortly okay guys you can see I got my phantom working there with the spectrum I have there's GPS mode there's attitude mode and then fail safe motor start up I just gotta put my camera down for a minute I've done a test flight with it already it flew good um, I just wanted to get into the radio and show you guys the changes hopefully I don't miss anything if I do I will definitely put it in the comments uh, the gimbal tilt works fine I didn't change anything from the phantom the speed or anything though you could if you wanted with the radio but you can do that in the phantom 2 software so as for programming um, hopefully I don't miss anything I'm just gonna turn my phantom off here really quick even though the props are off the first thing you need to do is go into system setup um, then go to channel assign and you're gonna want to change throttle to aileron, aileron to elevator, elevator to throttle, rudder to rudder, stay the same gear to gear. Um, these all don't change aux 1, aux 2, aux 3, aux 4. And go to next. Now here, there's just some things that I personally like. Yours might be different. Um, the B switch is what I cho chose for uh, GPS attitude and fail safe is all on that switch. So my high position is GPS, mid is fail, or attitude, low is fail safe. So I changed aux 2 to B for that one. You can put it on whatever switch you want. I chose B because that's what I fly my 550 with and I'm a creature of habit. Um, then the gear, you can see I have on, oops, sorry guys. I have that on the left lever and that's just for my tilt control. So that's basically all I had to do there. Again, that's just where I like it, where I tilt with my 550. Other than that, I don't think there's anything here I need to show you. Uh, servo setup. In order to get my GPS attitude and fail safe, I had to change the um, travel adjustment on AUX2 to a high position 80. So that's attitude GPS mode. mode. GPS mode. So you'll see it there. Attitude mode. The middle position is attitude mode. You can kind of see where about it is. And then fail the low safe. position is my fail safe. I don't fly with IOC on either of my 550 or my Phantom, so I didn't worry about setting it up. I don't even have it turned on in the software. But um, I'm sure it's very possible to easily set that up on a switch. GPS so mode. I'll just go back over I had to reverse some channels so I had to reverse aileron 
elevator and uh, or no sort of aileron and rudder just to get my um, craft to move in the correct direction and gear I reversed also but that was only because uh, my position furthest to the left is where I like my gimbal looking straight and then as I push the lever to the right I like it to tilt down other than that um, let me see was there anything else in here speed no that was it dual rates of course I set up my rudder on this switch F over here Mid -rate. at 50% low and rate. low rate just so I get a nice smooth High rate. Uh, pan when I'm yawing the rudder um, your timer you can set it up to your liking I have it so it's just active one time and then it just counts down continuously I have it set for 12 minutes right now um, I still got to do a range test on this thing like I said I did fly it in the yard here it's dark out and it flew really good fail safe worked um, your voice setups you can do if you're using your 9 or your or however you like it but basically that was all there there was to it I I don't think I missed anything as for the setup but if I do like I said I will definitely put it in the comments or in the video description below. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free. Let me know. Thanks. Okay, just wanted to show you guys a bit on the software. I forgot I should do that. Um, your rudder, of course, you want your rudder to you move it left, goes left, move it right, goes right. Your elevator, when you pull back on the stick, it should slide to the left. When you push forward on the stick, it should slide to the right. Throttle is, of course, at zero moves from left to right as you move it up and aileron of course when you move left left it should go left and right to the right uh, X1 is my gimbal control and the U is just the mode that you're in so there I'm in GPS mode attitude mode and fail safe so that's all there was to it guys of course do your um, once you move it over do your stick calibration, okay? Calibrate your sticks and your X1 for sure. And uh, go do a compass calibration and go fly. Your first flight, leave the gimbal and camera off. Make sure everything's working. I did. Now I'm going to go out tomorrow and uh, test it out. See how it works with the gimbal on. So once again, once you get your gimbal onto your compass calibration, Okay guys, thanks so much.